Electrolysis uh, has to do with the following definition. Making a non-spontaneous reaction happen by uh, electricity. Uh, and so the cell is called an electrolytic cell. So you may come across some uh, gal cells that we think are galvanic and spontaneous, and you calculate its potential, or you measure the potential, and it's negative. Okay? If it's negative, that uh, cell is not going to go. It's not spontaneous. But you can make it happen by putting in electricity to force it to happen if you overcome the energy barrier. So you can make non-spontaneous processes happen. Uh, and those are called electrolytic cells. And uh, they're helpful. They're used industrially all the time because we use them to talk about plating. And uh, industrially, electrolytic cells are all over the place. So we're going to use this example question, kind of see how uh, this works industrially, where uh, see how industrially we can cause or force something to play it out that will not normally play it out. Um, and the way you do that is putting in a current. So you put in a certain current. Over a period of time, you can force something to play it out. And this uh, example here we're going to do is actually an industrial process. Uh, so I'll show you how this works. Uh, it's, pretty, uh, it's actually a pretty simple little calculation uh, to figure out uh, how this uh, process goes. plus ion. So plate out means it becomes a solid. Okay? So balance this plus two electrons. And if you look, uh, I won't put this on the screen. Um, this has a slightly positive direction, it's slightly spontaneous, but you can have it happen even a little faster, which is what we want industrially. Okay. So here's, here's what we do. Take a look at that 10 amps. 10 amps, what that means in, in current terms is coulombs per second. So it's a charge unit per, per time. Uh, coulomb, charge per time. So you've got a certain amount of charge going on per time. What you can do is take that 10 coulombs per second and multiply that uh, by the amount of time given. So that's, uh, oops, I didn't need this line here, 30 minutes. Because, so we can get the overall charge that is going through. So 30 minutes, uh, that's, I want to change it to seconds. We've got 60 seconds for every one minute. Multiply that through, let's see what we get. Uh, this turns out to be 1.8 times 10 to the 4. The seconds canceled, so all I have left are coulombs. So that's the amount of charge going through. What I want to do now, I want to convert this to electrons and then finally to moles of copper. So let me show you how to do that. It's a pretty simple little conversion. If you take this 1.8 times 10 to the 4, and that's in coulombs. You know F. Remember F, it's one mole of electrons for every 96,485 coulombs. So using the constant F, actually dividing by F, I can turn this into moles of electrons. It's 1.87 times 10 to the minus 1 moles of electrons. That's nice, because now I'm going to use a molar ratio from this reaction up at the top. There are two moles of electrons, 
for every mole of copper. Just using that straight chem 2A sort of uh, conversion. So again, 1.87, uh, get that 7 in times 10 to the minus 1 moles of electron. And I know there's 2 moles of electrons from the reaction for every 1 mole of solid copper. This turns out to be uh, 9.25 times 10 to the minus 2. 0.35 times 10 to the minus 2 moles. Oh, I put this upside down. Shoot. Uh, to the minus 1 power. <laughs> moles of copper. I put this, that was dumb. Put this upside down. It should be moles of copper on the top, 2 moles of electrons. No worries, that's why you can raise it to the minus 1 power. If you're good at math, you can fix those stupid things. Okay. That's the moles of copper. I want to change that to grams of copper, and you'll see what we get. Uh, 9.35 oops, times 10 to the minus 2 moles of copper. Uh, and using the molar mass from the periodic table, 63.546 grams per mole. Just look that up on the periodic table. That turns out to be 5.94 grams of copper. So by going through this process of 10 amps over 30 minutes, I've just plated out 6 grams of copper. If I've produced 6 grams of copper, I can now use to make wires, sheets, whatever. Uh, so uh, kind of to summarize, you take the amps, which equals uh, coulombs per second, you essentially multiply by 1 over F. Uh, you multiply that by the uh, molar ratio. So that will give you the uh, moles of copper or the moles of metal. And then you multiply that by the molar mass. And that will give you grams of metal. That's the, that's the multiplication process you go through.